When it is Roxborough's first game at the field where four teammates were ambushed on their way to the locker room. And that's where we'll find eyewitness news reporter Carrie Carrado. Carrie? Jessica, people we spoke with say playing football and getting back on the field is exactly what these kids need. Now, it's no secret that it's a very emotional time on and off the field, but this game just ended, and it was also the first game since the deadly shooting, and people we spoke with say it's the support that these players need. Opening kickoff at Roxborough High School. The football team taking the field for their first game since a deadly shooting took place outside the school over two weeks ago. 14 year old Nicholas Elizalde was shot and killed, and four others were wounded after they were ambushed, leaving a scrimmage. I'm out to support the team and just the family here, to just be present here, just to show support. While the shooting is still on everyone's minds, the goal was to keep the players focused on the field. It's very important for these kids to keep playing. I mean, this is the safest place they can be, is on the field. I feel bad that they can't even have a game without some kind of unusual activity going on. Spectators also had to pass through security. It's a measure that's taken every game, even before the shooting. I feel that it's safe enough that there's a lot of police around. Parents, teachers, and community members alike vowed to continue to show their support for a young team that experienced a devastating loss during their season. Football is one thing that they can rely on that's normal. Um, and so I think it is important that they played today. I'm thankful that Kensington football agreed and wasn't nervous about the fact um, that there was um, a tragic event that happened here two weeks ago. So back out here live, the game just ended, but this season is for Nicholas Elizalde, the players playing for him. Now, people we also spoke with say they felt very safe coming to the game today. Kensington ended up winning. We're live tonight. Carrie Carrado, CBS 3, Eyewitness News. All right, Carrie, thank you.